We felt, what if we went to Mexico? Of course, we couldn't afford to get there, so we had to hitchhike. What if we hitchhiked to Mexico? We found out from some friends that in southern Mexico there were magic mushrooms. And I thought, if we can get to southern Mexico and try those mushrooms, maybe those would help Ron and I understand who we were even better and maybe understand who God was better. I went to the University of Buffalo and uh, when I was at Buffalo, that was a time in my life when I was particularly really, really searching for God. I was, there was just this deep longing in my soul of wanting to, that there was more to life, that, that what I had experienced growing up in my Jewish faith served a purpose and was good, but I just felt that there was so much more there, so much more that I wanted to know about God and myself and life. So when I was at Buffalo, I, I was experimenting in drugs with marijuana, even with LSD. I uh, had many relationships with girls, and I read a lot of books, primarily Eastern books, all with the purpose, all with the, of, of trying to understand and, and find God. And then I realized maybe, maybe if I left the city and moved out to the country, maybe a place that was very remote, that maybe I could find God in a more intimate way there. Well, a close friend of mine, uh, Ron was going to Syracuse, and of course I was in Buffalo. We decided that we wanted to go to an area where it was more remote, where it was more uh, nature, and we decided, of course, we had to make a living so we decided that we were going to raise tomatoes and we found 20 acres of land, Ron and I, in southern Oregon. And uh, it was beautiful, a creek and a log house. And it was there we thought we would put the greenhouse and start this little tomato business. What happened was when we got there and we had our dream realized, I began to see that this was not satisfying that I was more depressed, more discouraged than ever before in my life. Now we come up with another idea. We decided we were gonna hitchhike down to Mexico, and we did. On our way down to Mexico, almost every ride we were getting were from these long hair hippies. Almost every ride, they were talking to us about the Bible, about Jesus. I couldn't relate at all. It just, it just didn't make any sense to me. I was Jewish. I just, Ron was asking a lot more questions than me. I just kind of shut them out. We get down to Mexico. We hitch all the way down to almost Central America. And as it turns out, just when we were about to go up to the mountain to get these mushrooms, we find out that they were busting all these long hairs from America and they said, don't go up the mountain because you'll wind up in jail in Mexico. So on our way back from Mexico, because that trip was a total disaster, we stopped in San Francisco. Uh, we, Ron had introduced me to a girl, Deborah, so we spent a whole weekend together at his brother's place. And in the course of that weekend, I had opened my heart to this girl, Deborah, and started sharing with her all of the things that I was feeling, all these bottled up feelings, feelings about God, feelings about my own insecurities, my fears, my dreams, and we spent hours and hours together that weekend talking and just sharing with each other. At the end of that weekend, I was in love with her. I asked her to marry me. She said no, of course, she thought I was nuts, but, uh, but something happened in my heart that weekend. Something shifted in me and I was in love and I had never experienced this incredible feeling before. But I knew, I knew that I knew that God had brought her into my life. I knew it wasn't me, I knew it wasn't my personality, my looks, my sports, athletic. It was God. I knew God just miraculously arranged me to go to Mexico, her to be in San Francisco, and for, for us to meet. 
I started, I, I wanted to, to give something back to God. I didn't know how, but someone had given me a Bible several months earlier. And I thought, all right, I'm gonna read the Bible. And of course, I was familiar with the Old Testament. And I started reading the, the Old Testament. And in college, I couldn't relate. But now the Bible was coming alive. Anything that I read, Genesis, Exodus, Psalms, anything, it just was so meaningful to me. And I just felt so close to God. And then I get to the New Testament. Now, being raised Jewish, I knew nothing about the New Testament or Jesus. Some of the things he said really disturbed me. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but through me. And I said, how could this be? And he said, the Father and I are one. And I said, but there's only one God. Jesus may be a great man, but and I was so confused, I wasn't sharing this with anyone. Ron and I had a close relationship, but I just felt that I couldn't talk to him about these particular things. And then one night, I was standing under the stars near our little cabin, and I said, God, if you and Jesus are the same, you got to show me that this is the right thing to do, because I was really scared. Something happened in my heart that night. I told the next morning, I, I shared with Ron what had happened that night before. And he had tears in his eyes. And he said, when, when we were hitchhiking down to Mexico and we were getting picked up, I started reading the Bible. And I started also to talk to God. And, and, and I also believed in Jesus, but I, I didn't share this with you, Mike, because I was afraid. And, and here we are, that next day, just embracing each other and crying and sharing with each other how God had met us and how we both asked Jesus to come into our life. And we couldn't believe it. We went to this church. It was life-changing for us but I was still asking God to show me that this was the right decision. Well, the pastor from that church, he was retired, he was in his early 70s. He came out to our cabin one day to see me and uh, he didn't know what I was wrestling with, but he started to read a portion of scripture to me. It, it was, who hath believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? and he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, a root out of dry ground. And he was wounded for our transgressions and, and by his stripes we are healed. And he, he said, he said, Brother Michael, he said, where do you think this is? And I said, I don't know, Matthew, Luke? And he hands me the, the Bible and I look and it said Isaiah and I said, you're kidding. I said, this is in the Old Testament? Because it was so obvious to me that it was talking about Jesus. And he started to share with me scriptures from all over the Old Testament, showing me that, that Jesus was the Messiah. And, and that, that prayer that I had asked God, God, show me that this is the right decision. That day, I felt so secure and so satisfied as, as this pastor started sharing with me from the Old Testament about those scriptures. And I was so thankful to God that he had answered my prayer. Deborah came up to visit us up in Oregon and I started to read, with, read to her from the scriptures and she also started to believe in Jesus. And a few months later we got married. She's still my best friend to this day. We have an amazing, amazing marriage. My friend Ron, uh, instead of the tomatoes, we decided to start a little business together. So we started a light bulb business. And uh, I guess I took the Lord literally when he said, be lights of the world, and we went into the lighting business. And it, that little tiny seed has grown into one of the largest lighting companies in the, in the United States. And, and when we went back to share with our family, uh, my mom and my dad and my brother have also come to believe in Jesus and that, that is tremendous. I know that uh, 
Christianity, I know that believing in Jesus is, there, there's, there's so much from the past with, with the Holocaust and what Christians have done, but this has nothing to do with Jesus. This has nothing to do with the Bible. And, and the Messiah that was prophesied long, long time ago, if you, I, I, I just would encourage you and challenge you like, like I did to search and ask and read the scriptures for yourself with just asking God with an open heart and an open mind, could Jesus really be the Messiah?